Ever heard of a radio personality so powerful they could actually like shift the direction of an entire country? Oh, yeah. That's what we're looking at today. It's a fascinating story. It really is. And uh, it's Muthoni Wakiruba. Hmm. Now, this is someone who's way more than just a voice on the radio. She's a uh, real player in Kenyan politics. Yeah. So let's dive into how she got there and what it could mean for the future of Kenya. Yeah, I think this is a really great case study in uh, how media and politics intertwine, especially, you know, in a place like Kenya, Yeah, which is so dynamic. And it all starts with her background. Exactly. She was born in Mombasa, right? a coastal city known for its, like, blend of cultures mm -hmm. um, to parents who were originally from Kiambu and Nakuru. Yeah. These are regions in central Kenya. Yeah. So that mix of influences must, like, really shaped her outlook early on. Absolutely. And even her past to radio wasn't straightforward. Oh, really? Yeah, she actually got into some trouble in school. Mm, interesting. Yeah, believe it or not. I wouldn't have pictured that. Yeah, but she's a great example of somebody who found her stride mm -hmm. and really excelled academically. Okay. Went on to earn a degree in mass communication and journalism. Wow. And that gave her a really solid foundation for her success on Kameme FM. Right which broadcasts in the Kikuyu language, reaching a huge audience, Yeah, primarily the Kikuyu people. So that explains why her show, Changamuka, yes. which means wake up, exactly, really resonated with the Kikuyu community. It's yeah. like she was speaking directly to their hearts and minds. Absolutely. And that connection becomes even more powerful when you consider her relationship with former President Uhuru Kenyatta. Oh, yeah. That's a whole other layer to this. Yeah. That's not your typical radio personality interviews a politician kind of story. It really isn't. Yeah. Muthoni and Uhuru had this really close bond. Uh huh. It was evident in the heartfelt live calls she would make to him during his birthday celebrations. Imagine that, like, a radio host calling up the president on air to wish him a happy birthday. That's a whole other level it is. of access yeah. and influence. Absolutely. So how does all of this tie into the recent rally for Uhuru's birthday? So this is where things get really interesting. Okay. Muthoni was the MC for this rally. Right. And it was, you know, expected to be a joyous occasion. A birthday party. Exactly. Oh, yeah. But uh, with political tensions kind of brewing under the surface, right. the rally kind of morphed into something else entirely. Okay, hold on. we got to give listeners some context here. Okay. For those who might not be totally up to speed on Kenyan politics, right. can you explain what's going on with President Ruto okay. and the QQ community? Yeah, so... The current president, William Ruto, has faced growing discontent uh -huh. from the Kikuyu people who are a really important voting bloc in Kenya. Yeah. Some of his policies just haven't sat well with them. Right. And the controversial impeachment of his deputy president, Rigathi Gachagua, really fueled those anxieties. Right. So there's some frustration there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. There's this like simmering frustration well, and you could really feel it at the rally. Gotcha. So back to the rally. What was the vibe like? So imagine... A charged atmosphere filled. filled with these political undertones. Mm. You have prominent opposition figures like Kalonzo Musioka there. Wow. And also Manan Jenga, a former leader of the Mugiki. Oh, wow. Which was this controversial Kikuyu group. Yeah. Uh, and there were even reports of people suing songs that were associated with Kikuyu's historical struggle for land and independence. Wow. So it became less of a birthday celebration and more of a platform to vent frustrations against the current government. That's intense. Yeah. Which yeah. Muthoni's right there in the middle of it. She is. Playing this key role in channeling those emotions. Exactly. It's more than just her proximity to power. It is. Right. Yeah. She has this incredible ability to articulate the concerns of everyday Kikuyus. Like many of them feel economically marginalized under Rudo's leadership. Right. And she really echoes those sentiments yeah. in a way that resonates with them. So she's become a voice for the voiceless in a way. She has. And especially considering she's a woman in a media landscape that's often dominated by men. Absolutely. It's pretty remarkable. It really is. Her influence raises some really interesting questions. Like what? Could a radio personality actually influence the outcome of the 2027 elections? Wow. It's something to consider, especially with this growing disenchantment with Ruto right. among the Kikuyu community. This is mind-blowing stuff. It is. What's the bottom line here? I think Muthoni's story really shows the power of media to shape public opinion and mobilize political action. Uh, she's not just a radio host. She's a symbol of yeah. the hopes and frustrations of an entire community. 
This has been eye-opening, to say the least. It has. We've learned that Muthoni Wakiruba is way more than just a popular radio personality. Mm. She's a confidant of former presidents. Yeah. A powerful voice for her community and potentially a major player in upcoming elections. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think it makes you think about how traditional media, like radio, yeah. still has so much sway. Right. Especially in a place like Kenya. Food for thought, for sure. Yeah. What do you think? Will she use her platform to endorse a candidate in 2027? It's a good question. And if so, how might that shape the political landscape? Yeah, that's definitely something to ponder as we watch this story unfold. For sure. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Absolutely. Thanks for joining me on this deep dive. Our pleasure. I'm really glad we got to explore this fascinating story. Yeah, me too. And uh, we'll have to have you back on the show sometime. Anytime. Great. Thanks again for your insights. Of course. All right, everybody. Until next time. Bye. See ya. Dear viewers, if you've enjoyed this video and found it insightful, I'm reaching out with a heartfelt pledge for your support. YouTube has not been so kind to us lately, and this is seen in the low views on our videos. But you know us, we don't back down. We soldier on. But we as Storytelling Recap need your help. Your subscription means the world to us. It's not just a number. It's a community of passionate individuals who share a love for the content we create together. By clicking that like button, you help us reach more people and spread the knowledge and excitement we share in every video. If you found value in what you've watched today, please consider sharing this video with your friends and family. Together, we can spark meaningful conversations and inspire others. And if you feel moved to show your appreciation, don't forget to click the thanks button below. Your support not only motivates us to keep creating, but also helps us improve our content and bring you even more amazing videos in the future. In return, we promise to continue delivering high-quality content that informs, entertains, and inspires. Thank you for being part of our journey. Your engagement truly makes a difference, and we are grateful for each and every one of you. Remember successful people look like you, and all you need in life, God has it. Just ask him and it shall be given to you. Subscribe and see you in our next video.